Hello children, in this video we will see some unique examples of finding areas of shapes. Bhola and Sher Khan collected money and bought cashew burfi and pistachio burfi from Appu's shop. Sher Khan, let us divide this cashew burfi and eat it in two equal portions. Bhola said to Sher Khan. Okay, but I have a condition. We will play a game. First, I will ask you a riddle. If you give the correct answer, you will eat the burfi completely. And if your answer is wrong, then I will eat the burfi completely. Sher Khan told Bhola. Bhola accepted Sher Khan's condition. Can you make this cashew burfi into two triangles of equal area by drawing a straight line? Sher Khan asked Bhola. Bhola first drew the outline of the cashew burfi on a grid paper like this. The area of this cashew burfi is 10 times 10, that's 100 square centimeters. If I draw a straight line like this, I will divide this cashew burfi into two equal triangles. And because both triangles are half of this cashew burfi, both of the areas of the triangles will be half or 50 square centimeters of the area of cashew burfi. Bola told Sher Khan. Sher Khan was shocked. Children, can you divide the shape of this cashew burfi by just drawing a straight line and somehow divide it into two equal area triangles? You can find a solution by stopping the video. Well done children, your answer is absolutely correct. We can make this line in this way too. Sher Khan gave the burfi to Bhola and Bhola ate it happily. Never mind Bhola, you won't be able to answer my second riddle. Can you divide this pistachio burfi into a rectangle and two equal area triangles by drawing two line? Sher Khan asked Bhola. Bola started thinking. This question of Sher Khan is a bit difficult. Children, can you find a solution to Sher Khan's question? In this way, we can draw a rectangle by drawing a vertical line. And then, one can draw two similar triangles by drawing a slant like this. If we look closely, we will find that both the triangles are half of this square. The area of this square is 10 times 10, 100 square centimeters. Therefore, the area of these two triangles is exactly the same as half or 50 square centimeters of this square. We can make these two lines in more ways. Bola could not find the answer to this riddle of Sher Khan. So Sher Khan ate that whole pistachio burfi and also taught Bola how to solve this puzzle. Children, in this video, we saw some unique examples of finding areas of shapes. In the next video, we will see some more interesting examples. Children, in the previous video, we saw some unique examples of finding areas of shapes. In this video, we will see some more interesting examples. At Raju's birthday party, Raju gave compass boxes of the same design to all the children. The next day, P 
Pinky, Chanda and Tufan get excited and bring their new compass box to school. This is my compass box. Chanda said to Tufan, "No, this is my compass box." Tufan and Chanda started fighting. Seeing Tufan and Chanda fighting, Pinky said, "Look, I've used this square-shaped stickers on my compass box to make my name letter P. This allows me to easily identify my compass box." Why don't you both use these stickers to draw the letters of your name on your compass box? Children, if the side of every square shaped sticker used by Pinky is 1 cm, can you find the area of the letter P of Pinky? The length of the edge of each square shaped sticker is 1 cm. So, The area of each square shaped sticker will be 1 square centimeter. Pinky has used 10 such stickers in her name letter P. Therefore, the area of the letter P in her name will be 1 times 10 10 square centimeters. Pinky gave 10 stickers each to both Chanda and Tufan to make their own letters children can you use these 10 square shaped stickers to make chanda's name letter c and the name tufan t if you want you can find a solution by stopping the video well done children let us see How many centimeters is the perimeter of P that Pinky has created? We can find it very easily. The measurement of the edge of a square is 1 cm. So, to find the perimeter of this letter, we only need to find the number of squares that fall in its edges and add the measurements of all those edges in this way perimeter of pinky's letter p is 16 cm children can you now find the perimeter of the letters of chanda and tufan yes the perimeter of the letter c of chanda is 26 cm and the perimeter of the letter t of tufan is 22 cm children you have seen how the areas of the letters of pinky chanda and tufan are the same however their perimeters are different it is quite possible that the shapes having the same area may vary in perimeter Chanda and Tufan made letters indicating their names on their compass boxes by using those stickers so that they would never fight again about their compass boxes. Children, in this video we saw some more interesting examples of finding areas of shapes. In the next video, we will see even more interesting examples related to this. children in the previous video we saw some more interesting examples of finding areas of shapes in this video we will see even more interesting examples related to this tiles of very beautiful and unique shapes have become available in the market these days everyone is decorating their homes with these tiles Babban bought tiles of this shape to decorate his house. Children, can you tell what the area of a tile of this shape will be? You can stop the video and calculate the answer. To find the area of this tile, we can divide this shape 
into squares and rectangles in this way. In this way, the area of this tile is 200 square centimeters. I can decorate my walls with these tiles, thought Babban. Babban started decorating his wall with these tiles in this way. After putting some tiles, Babban fell asleep. If Babban has so far laid tiles in this way, can you tell us how much will the total area covered by the so far laid tiles be? To find the answer, let us first find out how many tiles Babban has used so far. Can you answer this, kids? Yes, Babban has used six tiles so far. Now it is very easy. To find the total area, we only have to multiply the area of one tile by the number of total tiles. In this way, the total area covered by the tiles will be 200 multiplied by 6. 1,200 square centimeters. Babban got up in the morning and decorated his entire wall with tiles. But Babban's wife, Banno, did not like the design of those tiles. Babanji, I did not like the design of these tiles. Why don't we put some other design tiles in our room? Banno told Babban. Babban has come to the market this time with Banno to buy his room tiles. Babanji, I like the tile of this design very much. Banno said to Babban, pointing to the tile of this design. Babban immediately bought tiles of that design and Banno and Babban returned to their home. On returning home, Banno said to Babban, Babanji, you must be tired. Why don't I decorate the wall of our room with these tiles? Saying this, Banno started decorating the wall of the room. Banno decorated the entire wall in this way. Children, can you tell how many square centimeters is the area of this wall? If you want, you can stop the video and find the answer. First, we will find the area of a tile in this way. The area of a tile is 288 square centimeters. Banno has used a total of 48 such tiles to decorate the wall. Therefore, the area of the wall will be 288 multiplied by 48. 13,824 square centimeters. When Babban saw the wall decorated by Banno, he was very happy and thanked Banno for decorating their room so beautifully. Children, in this video we saw even more interesting examples related to finding areas of shapes. Hello children, in this video we will learn to estimate area using grid paper. Golu, Bunny and Bhola bought different types of biscuits from the market. Bunny, Bhola, look at my biscuit. It is bigger than your biscuit. Golu said to Bunny and Bhola. No. My biscuit is bigger than the two of you. Bunny told Golu. Friends, we can immediately find out whose biscuits are the biggest using grid paper, said Bhola. Bunny and Golu could not understand anything. Then Bhola made such equal sized squares on a paper. 
a paper made of equal sized squares like these is called a grid paper said bhola but bhola how can we use this to find out the biggest biscuits golu asked bhola bhola made the outlines of those three biscuits with a pencil on the grid paper bunny can you tell me how many squares are there in the shape of your biscuit bhola asked bunny bunny quickly counted the number of squares and said 16 squares and golu tell me how many squares are there in the shape of your biscuit bhola asked golu hmm uh, 15 squares said golu and can you both tell me how many squares are in the shape of my biscuit bhola asked bunny and golu 24 squares 24 squares said bunny and golu shocked absolutely right and do you know that the area created inside the boundary of any shape is known as the area of that shape so we can say that the area of my biscuit is larger than the area of both your biscuits or my biscuit is bigger than both of your biscuits bhola explained to golu and bunny This is such an interesting thing you have taught us Bhola. Let us all share our biscuits and eat them. Bunny said to Bhola. The three friends shared their biscuits and ate them with great pleasure. Children, in this video we learned to estimate area using grid paper. In the next video we will learn more about it through some interesting examples. In the previous video we learned to estimate area using grid paper. In this video we will learn more about it through some interesting examples. Raju and Bablu are watching TV at Bablu's house. Painting competition has been announced in Champapur. All the contestants have to make unique paintings. The most unique painting will be rewarded. This is being shown in the news on TV. Raju, why don't we make a painting on a leaf? Bablu said to Raju. Yes, Bablu. This is a very good suggestion. Let us both find one leaf and then whichever leaf is bigger, we will together make a beautiful painting on it. Raju told Bablu Both friends began to find leaves outside Bablu's house. Both Bablu and Raju found one leaf each. Bablu, we should use the bigger of these two leaves to make our painting. Raju told Bablu. But how will we find that out? Bablu asked Raju. All we need to do is to find the area of these two leaves. The leaf which has more area is bigger. Saying this, Raju created outlines of both the leaves using a pencil on a grid paper. But Raju, the areas enclosed by the outline of these leaves have some full squares, some half, some more than half and even some less than half squares. Then how are we going to find their area? Bablu asked Raju. It is very easy. Can you tell me how many full squares are there in the area of the first leaf? Raju asked Bablu. 8 squares. Bablu quickly counted. Raju wrote down the number of full squares in this way. Now, can you tell me How many half squares are there in the area of the first leaf? Raju asked. 
Bablu looked closely and said, Six squares. Six half squares. We can even write them equal to three full squares. Raju added three to the number of full squares previously written. And now, finally, can you tell me how many squares are more than half in the area of the first leaf? Raju asked. Two squares. Bablu said excitedly. Absolutely right. We'll count them as full squares. Now Raju added two more to the number of full squares. We will not count any squares which are less than half. Now look Bablu, the area of the first leaf has a total of 8 add 3 plus 2 or 13 squares. In other words, there are 13 squares in the area of the first leaf. Bablu, can you now use this process to find out how many squares are there in the area of the second leaf? Raju told Bablu. Children, can you help Bablu in finding the answer? If you wish to, you may stop the video and find the answer. The area of the second leaf has 10 full squares, 4 half or 2 full squares and 4 more than half squares. And there are some less than half squares which we will not count. In this way, there are 10 add 2 plus 4 or 16 squares in the enclosed area of the second leaf. In other words, there are 16 squares in the area of the second leaf. Bablu also found the answer to this question just like you. Raju, there are 16 squares in the area of the second leaf and 13 squares in the area of the first leaf. This means that the second leaf is larger than the first leaf. Bablu told Raju. Well done, Bablu. We came to know which is the biggest leaf and you also learned to find the area using a grid paper. Now, let us quickly take part in the competition by painting a beautiful picture on this bigger leaf. The two friends made a beautiful painting on the second leaf. Children, in this video, we learned more about estimating area using grid paper through some interesting examples. In the next video, we will look at some of the misconceptions related to this. Hello children! In the previous video, we learned more about estimating area using grid paper through some interesting examples. In this video, we will look at some of the misconceptions related to this. Chanda wants to open a new restaurant. Chanda has to buy new plates for her restaurant. She has come to buy plates at Gagu's shop. I want to buy the biggest plates, Chanda told Gagu. Gagu showed plates of these shapes to Chanda and said, Chanda, all these plates are of new designs and in all these you can serve exactly the same amount of food. But how is that possible, Gagu? This plate is triangular, this one is square shaped and this plate is rectangular. Because rectangle is bigger than square and triangle, the rectangular plate is bigger than both these plates. Chanda said to Gagu. Gagu laughed and said, <laughs> No Chanda, come, let me explain this to you using this grid paper. After saying this, Gagu used a pencil to trace the outlines of the three plates onto the grid paper. 
Chanda, can you tell me how many squares are there in the area of the rectangular plate? Gaggu asked Chanda. Chanda quickly counted. 16 squares. And how many squares are there in the area of the square shaped plate? Gaggu asked. That's 16 squares too. Chanda said shocked. And now can you tell me the number of squares in the area of uh, this triangle shaped plate? Children, can you help Chanda find the answer? If you wish to, you may stop the video and find the answer. There are 12 full squares in the area of the triangle shaped plate. There are 4 more than half squares and 4 less than half squares. So we will count 4 more than half squares as 4 full squares. And we don't count the less than half squares. In this way, there are 16 squares in the area of the triangle shaped plate. Chanda too found the area of the triangle shaped plate just like you. Hey Gaku, there are 16 squares in the area of this triangle shaped plate too. You are right. The shapes of these plates may be different, but their areas are exactly the same. Chanda said to Gagu. The plates of these three shapes are very beautiful. Give me plates of all these three shapes, said Chanda and then bought plates of all three shapes from Gagu. Children, in this video, we learned about some misconceptions related to estimating area using grid paper.